Here's a fun fact for you. If you go to a Sugar Sammy comedy show and you sit in the front row, well, good luck to you. You may end up as part of the show. I made fun of your crackheads. I made fun of, I made fun of the poor. I made fun of meth. And that's what you got mad at? Oh, you attacked a microbiologist. You've gone too far, Sugar Sammy. There he is, having just a little bit of fun with his audience in Winnipeg. He is currently wrapping up his Canadian tour, and Sugar Sammy joins us this morning in studio. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks so much. We were saying that during the, during the break that the last time you were here, you were on this tour. You've taken a couple of breaks since then, but it's, it's really, really nonstop for you, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's been amazing, and I mean, it's been great. I've been in France, I've been in the U.S., good to come back in Canada, and now touring side by side with this election campaign has been fantastic. Well, this is, I'm so glad you brought it up because I talk to a lot of comics for a lot of reasons and they, they, they say they've got to workshop jokes, they've got to spend time making sure they get it just right. But you have been making up jokes in real time as it happens. Yeah. Talk to you about the process of identifying something that has sort of the, the bones of a joke, but from what a politician says, to when you can actually get laughs on stage. Well, I mean, a lot of it just writes itself these days. I mean, I just have to take the paper and read it up on stage. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of times something will happen and, you know, I have some days off. I'll go up on stage at these open mics, test it out, and then it makes it into my show. And then, you know, it's, sometimes it just improves as the, as the tour goes. This brown face thing has been amazing. This debate <laughs> yesterday, this debate yesterday was just gold. I mean, it, they really addressed issues that keep Canadians up at night, like how many brown faces were there? Yeah. <laughs> or did, uh, did Andrew Scheer actually have his insurance broker's mm -hmm. license? Mm -hmm. Like these things that keep us this up at night. This nation building stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, but explain to me the, the, you have these billboards that are sort of spoofing Maxime Bernier. Right. Why? Uh, because it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. And I mean, I think, you know, um, for me, comedian. <laughs> I think for me, it was just uh, important to keep on, like, uh, you know, addressing a lot of stuff that's happening in Canadian politics. Canadian politics is something that we're surrounded by, but a lot of comedians don't address here yeah. in Canada. So for me, I think this was a fun thing. I saw these billboards and I said, oh, I have to spoof these for my tour. And I pick, yeah. I think as I'm an equal opportunity offender. So yeah. I get on everyone. I mean, okay. I think Maxime Bernier, I think, <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, he probably won't win this election, but but, you know, I analyze that probably because a lot of his electors uh, can't read. Um, but I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, th these days we're living in a world where it's less about the intent of the person telling the joke and more about the person receiving the joke. Right. Do you have to, does it make it so you have to be more careful about what you say? Because you really have to, these days, it's, it, it, you got to worry about how your joke is going to land. It's and true. who is listening to it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times people worry about that because they're like, oh, I might get fired. It's the cancel culture. Yeah. Thing is, I don't work for anyone, so yeah. it's great. Yeah, and to me, it's not a success until yeah. I get two, three court orders. Uh, <laughs> I've been to your shows, man. I've been there. Like, I cannot believe he went there. Is there anyone though in your life who will say, you know what, that's too far? No, I think for me and my audience knows this. They're going to come to a Sugar Sammy show. They're going to know that you know we're going to cross some lines. We're going to talk about stuff that's politically incorrect today, and we're going to go in these territories. I think. For comedians, that's traditionally what we've been. We've been the people who've been like liberating these taboos, been the first ones to talk about a lot of things in a humorous light. I mean, that's our, our job. And the ones that we love traditionally, the ones that we've always admired, have done that. The George Carlins, yeah. the Eddie Murphys, the Richard Pryors. These are our heroes, the Lenny Bruces. So why take that away from comedians now in 2019? Okay, we only have about 10 seconds left. What's next when this show, when this tour ends? What are you doing next? Because you're a busy guy. I'm back in France. I'm touring France after this tour. And then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing uh, Incroyable Talent, which is uh, Got Talent. I'm one of the judges That's on awesome. France's Got Talent. Yeah. Uh, all the best. All the success to you, my friend. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. For more information on Sugar Sammy's current tour and remaining tour dates, head to our website, yourmorning.ca. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.